not expecting that. How's it going, guys? We're doing a Sierra Nevada sampling beer review. This is my buddy Asante. This is my boy Dom. We've known each other since high school. Let's get this started. Alright. And this bad puppy up. You can start reading it off a like. Okay, so this first one called Limited Edition 40. It says Hoppy Anniversary Ale. I'm excited to try this one. I've never had Sierra Nevada brand before, so I'm excited to try a bunch of these different different types. That's a gorgeous color to me. Put this out of the way. It does have a nice color. Ooh, it's got some nice bubbles forming up after the pour. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. While you chuggers out there. Sante, cheers to your Sante has a big foam. It's not that bad. It's very hoppy though. I do taste the hops, but it's it's not bad. I'm not too upset with the hops. I don't know about you guys. Like Steven, I don't like hoppy beers, but this is a pretty good beer. Yeah. It's got a good uh, presence of hops, but yeah. not not it's not overbearing. Mm, it's very drinkable. I I actually like it. It's not bad for uh, as our first time trying an IPA. It's pretty good. All right. So, let's rate it. You, got, you guys got a number ready? We're going on a scale of uh, 1 to 10. 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Uh, I would say. Wait, wait, wait. wait. 3, 2, 1, 8. Six. 8. Okay. Yeah. 6. I'll yeah. give it a 6. Right. There's room to improve. That's There's room fun. to improve, but you know, we got, we got diff more flavors in the variety pack, so. The reason why I rated it so high is because it's, it's a very hoppy beer, and the fact that I do kind of enjoy it, that's why I was rating it a little higher. Um, I, I would also agree with him. It has like a nice, sweet bit of taste to it, and it's like really smooth for an IPA, and most IPAs aren't like that. Yeah, so, I think nice. it has a nice taste to it. It's smooth. Yeah, it does give you that hop. It does have hop yeah. to it. I think, um, similar to what they said, the hoppiness does prevent me from giving it a very high score, but. For a hoppy beer, it is quite drinkable, so. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's getting, give it a nice score of a six. Cheers. Slanche. I did get this recommendation from my cousin Tyler. He told me that they're very nice beers, and I should give them a whirl. The next one we got up is the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. This also has a nice color to it, a good head. Oh, it the, smells really good too. The label has some hops on it, so I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's that's gonna be a pretty <laughs> hoppy beer. All right. Smells good, it smells nice. This one's a very deep golden color to it. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but. Oh, it should, it should. Nice, uh, nice golden color beer. I'm gonna dive into it. Oh, it's off. Excuse me. It's not actually that hoppy. It's a nice pale ale. I enjoy it. I it does have a it. bit more of a sour taste to it, but yeah, not, sorry, not, not too sour. Very, very drinkable beer, quite refreshing. Yeah. Not overbearing. The hops aren't overbearing. The, the taste of it is it's pretty. It's, it's got a nice mouth feel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a nice mouth feel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was trying to use uh, um, connoisseur type words. Oh, yeah. But I guess it backfired. <laughs> it's very mouthy. <laughs> Kisses you back <laughs> when you drink it. <laughs> no homo. What about you, Asante? What do you think? Um, I, honestly, it has a dry taste to it. Yeah, I actually do dry yeah, I taste. Yeah, I kind of taste that too. Uh, now boy. that you bring it up. No interest. Just no boring. interest? Just boring. Alright. It's not a beer that you would drink on a regular basis. Yeah. Me neither, but it's a pretty good beer. It's a good beer. I wouldn't say, like, I would 
drink this on a regular basis. I probably like sip it every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't be my go-to beer. I'd probably rather have the uh, 40. The 40? Yeah. The 40? I'd rather have a nice domestic beer like a Budweiser or Bud Light, but mm -hmm. that's just me. Alright. Okay, let's rate this in three, two, one, seven. seven. Bro, we're, we're, we're on, right? I, said, I said seven. Yo! That's an all around seven. Didn't you say eight? I thought no, you he said, said seven. Eight. He said oh, seven. he said seven? Okay. Hell cool. yeah! Sorry, we're on the same wavelength yeah. right now. Next up, we got the Ooh. Torpedo Extra IPA. So, <laughs> once again, on the label, there's some hops, so, and then also with it being an IPA, I expect it to be pretty hoppy, so let's see what they happens. They all? Oh yeah, this one's kind of hazy. Yeah, it's got a dark color to dark, it. Dark, hazy color to it. Ooh, I think this one. All right, this one's a tough one. I think, this one's a high percentage. I think this one is 8%. I think it says on the box. Let's see. Um, 7.2%. Yeah, so this one's a hefty one. Pretty heavy beer. Let's give Let's it a give smell. It a hefty, hefty. You smell, smell that IPA. It smells like an IPA. You got if that you like, know, citrusy, kind of like bitter smell. If any of you viewers know me, honey. I do not like IPAs. Is so, I, as you guys know, my 42 subscribers. I don't like IPAs. <laughs> Cheers. Let's see it. Cheers. Cheers. Slanche. No, we're not gonna Let, show let's it. Let's try it. Try it. Ooh, Ooh that is sour. It's not good. Ooh. It's not. It's not bad. I want to say it was bad. It's not the worst IPA I've ever had, but it's still an IPA. So yeah, it still tastes that like that means IPA. that means. It's not very good. Like I've I've been more I feel I've delved deeper into the IPA kind of lingo. Maybe not lingo, but like the taste of it. And this is a, actually a pretty good IPA. I mean you guys know I don't like IPAs, but the one video I did a New Belgian taste test, they had a few Voodoo Ranger, it was one of them, and then the Mountain. No no no. Wild Ride. That, those IPAs, this is better than that one. So I do kind of like this one. Of the of the three we tried so far, this is definitely at the bottom, but that's just me. I'm not an IPA guy, so. Yeah, let's uh, let's give it a rate. Three, two, one, no. six point five. Ooh. Nine. Give it a nine? Yeah. Damn. I'm keeping. I'm saying with 6.4. I'm not four. over here like throwing up, like when, like when I gag. Maybe later. Maybe when later. I, <laughs> when I gag, that's what gonna be the do? five or below. That's when I. That's when I would rate a bad beer. Cause I'm a big beer guy. You guys know me. I drink. <laughs> I drink. I drink beer. All right. I drink beer also, but this is not the kind of beer that I drink. I don't drink IPAs. I want to go out of my way to buy this beer. Let me just put it that way. Neither would I. This is not a beer that I would see myself spending money on. In fewer words, the Torpedo IPA is at, at the, the bottom. bottom. It's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Send it to the bottom. I do like that name though. It's a cool name, Loud but that. we're not, we yeah. don't like it. One thing we were talking about before the video is that IPAs, many IPAs, they have a very cool name to distract you from the fact that it's not a good beer. <laughs> True. Well, I can't say that they're a bad beer because people have different flavors and stuff, different taste buds. Also, so I know my buddy Jack, you guys know him. Yeah. He loves the IPA like stuff. My He's dad also the loves the IPA stuff. So I understand that it's a it's a flavor that people enjoy. Like it's not my flavor, but I'm not gonna think differently of you if you like these kind of beers, like Asante does. It's all about the different, the different opinions, but mm -hmm. based off of our Us too, opinion, we're gonna put the bottom. Yeah. So the bottom right now. You gotta put into consideration, it's a 7.2%. Like, it'll get you there. It'll get you going. Yes, It'll but... put you on the road to a happier place. <laughs> Yeah, but at the same That's time, so at the same time, the sourness of it, the hoppiness of it, yeah. it's just not my style. It's not my thing. For me, I like it. So you would, you would, because it's like not something I like just chug. 
Oh, it's one thing I would sip on to like enjoy it. Yeah, like I'm not a big IPA no. guy, but yeah. I could probably drink this with a steak. Mm -hmm. Like I would, I would drink this with a meal. Like I want to just sit back and shot these, you know, chug these all day. I wouldn't drink this. Period. That's my that's my final review. I would not drink this under any circumstances. <laughs> nope. No, <laughs> nope. It gets it gets the thumbs down from me. This last last flavor is called the Hop Bullet Double IPA, and in our language, that means double the chance that we won't like it. It's once again, it's got a hop on it, so I'm already predicting that I won't like it. Watching him pour it. I can see it's, it's very hazy, very... It's a lighter color. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> it's very... You see this? Uh, man. It's like bourbon a baby. You gotta get every last... I have a bourbon. very, very skeptical approach to this beer. Doesn't look good. This is my prediction. It's got a nice color to it, but other than that, it doesn't have much going for it. Let's get the... I like the color. I do like the color. Give it a smell. I do. It has a... Nice... It has a disgusting smell to it. It smells like an IPA. Well, all IPAs mm -hmm. smell like IPAs. Bro, speaking facts. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Oh man, that's sour. It's like biting to a lemon. Ooh. Yeah, it's with, not with the, with the peel and everything. It's Ow. just super sour, nah. disgusting. It's not good. We're yeah. gonna yeah. automatically, consensually. Well, let's that, rate it. Let's rate it. Put that well, all the way at the bottom. We don't even have to rate it before we, because like we already know. Three, two, one, three, two, two, two. two. All right. Yeah. So that's gonna go all the way at the back. Oh, is that the back? Sorry, I'm, I'm tripping. No, because we're going left to right, so that means in our yeah. point of view, right to left. I'd say hot bullet because it gives you that little hop at first, but then when it hits you, it's like it's like a bullet. It like kills yeah, you. Yeah, literally it's like disgusting. a bullet. It's like they down. It's like hurting you. They it's named the hot bullet. the beer very well. They did. They like they said they when hit you with the hops and the bullet see, kills you. They see? said when you drink Boom. it, you'll die because it's disgusting. See? It's not good. It, it goes. Torpedo. You see that like hop at first, but then when the bullet gets you, it's like oh, yeah. hot bullet. This is gonna be probably the worst beer in my existence to chug. Might I say that bitch is? If you buy the Sierra Nevada sampler, you'll see this order on the packaging. The hot forty, the pale, oh, the torpedo, oh, and the hot hot bullet. Okay. okay. Talk to them. That is our rating. It Talk literally to on the packaging shows the rating Preach. from Talk best to, to worst. Talk. Best to worst. That's the best Talk to worst, to and that's exactly what we Talk have here. To them. This is the best. This is okay. Talk this is terrible. Them. This is super terrible. Do not buy the sampler buy. and expect to like the hot bullet or the torpedo. Talk buy to them. the 40 or the, the pale ale. The pale ale. Talk They're good. Them. This torpedo. <laughs> And this double IPA are not talk good. Talk to them! Do not buy talk to them! Talk! Talk! Do not buy this sampler because you only like half of the beers. You see this? You only like the 40 in the pale ale. Do not like any of the Talk to them! them. Don't buy talk. it. Talk! Talk to them. Yeet. Yeet. Give me the box. Overall, this sampler pack is not a buy. Get that nada. Yeet. Nada. Not a buy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what do you want to say, Asante, for um, the audience? I just want to say, make sure you guys uh, give this video a thumbs up and, and uh, keep on watching my boy, uh, Steven. Hey, try this. He's doing a good job. And just keep on giving him the support. And everybody, just keep it going for him. Just just do what you do. Just don't worry about it. Just keep on going. You're going to get there. And just give this video a thumbs up and make sure you check him out. Hey, try this.